Have you had your cholesterol done lately? Was it too high or was it too low? When you go to your doctor, they do a traditional cholesterol testing, but it does not give you the full picture. Let me explain. My name is Diamond Fernandez and I'm the founder and director of the HeartFit Clinic. We all know that we have the good, the bad, and the ugly, which is the HDL being the good, LDL being the bad, and ugly being the triglycerides. Well, here's the secret. The good cholesterol, of course we want that high, may not all be that good. And the bad cholesterol may not, may not all be that bad. So it's really important to understand your particle size. And here's your artery inside. If you can think about the lining of your arterial wall like a tennis net, the larger molecules are better. They will not go through that tennis net. And the smaller molecules are more dangerous. Let me explain further by taking you to the tennis court. Imagine all these balls being like in your cholesterol. So you have the bad cholesterol, the LDL cholesterol. You have large, fluffy LDL cholesterol molecules. And you have small, dense LDL particles. So the small, dense ones are the more dangerous. Let me explain this in a little bit more detail. I would like you to imagine cholesterol being, think of it as large and small. And imagine the arterial wall like a tennis net. And it's the tennis net that is the protective barrier around your arterial wall. So if you have tennis ball sized LDL molecules versus small, dense golf ball LDL particles, these are more dangerous. And let me explain. If I were to play tennis and I'm going to go back and I'm going to hit this ball into the net, you'll notice that when I hit the ball into the tennis net, that protective barrier stops it. But I hit a golf ball through the tennis net, it'll go right through. So understand that tennis balls are good and golf balls are bad. Here's Diamond Fernandez of the HeartFit Clinic. Make sure you book your new cholesterol test, the particle size tests and numbers that are important to know. Over 50% of heart attacks occur with people with normal cholesterol profiles. So make sure you book your test in and truly understand your cardiovascular risk.